So my name is Brian Hill. I work at the Gateway. I'm the general manager here. I've been uh, with the Gateway for about 13 years. And when I came on board with the Gateway, we were using bright nights for our holiday, for our holiday lighting. And uh, the reason we've continued to use bright nights over the past 13 years, we've had several other companies trying to get our business. But the reason we've continued to use bright nights is because of the creative, unique, and ever-evolving uh, holiday lighting experience that they offer us that we can provide for customers that come to the gateway. Um, several years ago, one of the things that we would do, and we were looking at what we could do here at the gateway that was unique to any other center in Utah, uh, something that would truly give a wow experience, something that was unique, something that was different. And uh, we're, we're fortunate enough to have the Olympic Legacy Fountain at the Gateway. And so when Bright Nights came in, they thought, you know, let's use that fountain as kind of a, uh, you know, incorporate that with the lighting show. And so the first year we had a, we had the fountain, which, you know, plays holiday music every 30 minutes. And then the holiday tree that we brought in, it was a 65 foot spruce. Um, it was lighted and the lights on the tree were within sync with the music on the fountain. And so as the fountain danced, uh, so did the tree along with the fountain. And the next year we were like, okay, that was amazing. We've got to go bigger and better. And so the next year we synced all of the trees in the plaza. So you had the trees in the plaza, the 65 foot tree plus the fountain. And uh, we would do these you know, holiday lighting shows every 30 minutes where people could come down and see all of the, the lights on the, on the tree, the plaza, and of course the fountain all move in sync with the holiday music, which uh, really created, you know, people would come down specifically during the holidays just to see these shows every 30 minutes in the evening. So one of the things that we've done the past couple of years in ever evolving um, to create a unique experience at the Gateway is we've moved more from traditional holiday colors to non-traditional colors. And our trees are now lit with electric blues, electric purples and greens and pinks and uh, yellows. And uh, it's, you know, created something that again is unique and more on par with where our brand is right now. Something that's going to appeal to um, the younger market and something that, you know, is unique to the gateway and can only be found here. It, it really hasn't been a, a challenge, you know, one of, with, uh, we wanted to just set ourselves apart from the competition and, you know, create something that it's, Gateway currently we're moving, we've been moving more towards entertainment, nightlife, restaurants. Yeah. Um, we've brought in some tech companies. And so we really wanted to appeal to, you know, the generation that's going to come and enjoy those entertainment venues. And so that went right along with, with our brand. And that's one of the things that we really enjoy working with Bright Nights is when we sit down with them each year and kind of talk about you know, how we're going to make it a little different experience than the year before. Um, last year, we had an opportunity to meet with three other companies and our corporate wanted us to look at other options for um, a holiday lighting package. And we met with two other companies. And even though we shared with them that, you know, we want this to be unique, we want it to be different. We want it to appeal to a younger generation. The two other companies all came back with, regular traditional you know holiday decor with bows with red with green with um, santa clauses and reindeer and bright nights really listened to what we were saying and they came back with ideas that were right on brand for us and they were able to execute um, you know those ideas into creating some some really fun things here for our customers this past year and uh, that's one of the reasons we enjoy working with bright nights they're also very creative, um, innovative. They have a lot of fun as they're putting together ideas and presenting those ideas. And uh, we've always been, you know, just enjoyed that experience and, and uh, the things Bright Nights has been able to come up with. Bright Nights is really good at listening to the customer, um, trying to understand exactly what their needs are, understanding the customer's brand and putting together a holiday package that meets with that meets that customer's, you know, the image they want to portray uh, that, that follows the brand. And uh, the other reason is, you know, meeting with several different companies, 
Friday Nights has always come back with the most creative, most innovative um, ideas that uh, they've been able to implement and to actually you know, put into production and uh, create a truly unique experience. So one of the other things that we've enjoyed working with Bright Nights is they're not just a, you know, installation company and then come back several months later and, and take things down. Uh, during the time that the lights are on, we have Bright Nights is really good on, you know, coming and checking the lighting on a frequent basis, making sure that it's working the way it's supposed to be working. And if we do have a, a problem here or there, they're very good at troubleshooting that and, uh, you know, making sure that our holiday light exhibit uh, performs the way it should. And so they're, they're, as far as the maintenance side, they're very good to work with on that as well.